Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shamira Benson, one part of Team Benson, and I don't even know how I'm gonna piece these videos together, guys, but I'm preserving in the kitchen. <laughs> so it's probably gonna be like a two-day video. I'm actually filming this video at the end, but <laughs> neither here nor there. Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys quick and easy ways to preserve jalapenos and Swiss chard. So let's just get into it. Okay guys, so for my peppers, I only have a few chilies and I have a few jalapenos. The chilies, uh, now these have been sitting on my counter for a while, but I need to lay these out and let them flat dry. I want them to get all the way crispy so that then I can make a um, chili powder, like a spicy powder with them. Now I take a lot of peppers in my garden and sometimes I'll get some peppers from the farm and I will get all types of spicy ones and I just make like a spicy powder blend. Um, so when I would add like some heat or something like that to our food, then I just use that powder. Now for our jalapenos, I do those a little bit different. Now these ones, they're starting to turn on me. Um, all I do is I cut off the tops and I am going to roast these. Currently in here, I have some bones roasting for, excuse my dirty oven, I have some bones roasting for my bone broth, but I'm going to roast these jalapenos and then we're gonna freeze them. For the Swiss chard, I'm going to double wash my Swiss chard just like I double wash all of my greens because I plan on freezing these. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these stems off of it because the stems I'm gonna feed back to the worms. So I'm gonna cut the stems just to make it a little bit easier to drain and then I'm gonna chop these up and then rewash them again. They've been sitting here in water and vinegar right now so they're nice and clean. Um, but we're gonna get make sure it's a double wash so we're gonna wash them again in salt. So real simple, you can take the seeds out. I leave the seeds just for a little bit of added heat um, because we like our food spicy sometimes. And then you're just gonna take these, just gonna put them on some parchment paper and a pan, and we're gonna throw them in the oven at 375 degrees and let them roast until they have like some black spots on them, like blackened. Okay guys, so I have it all chopped up. I'm just going to add um, some salt. I use canning salt to wash my stuff um, just because normally when I cook, I cook, I'm gonna do that with two hands. <laughs> normally when I cook, I cook with a like um, Celtic sea salt or a Redmond's real salt and I don't wanna waste those salts on cleaning things. So I just use like a cheaper canning salt on cleaning things. So I'm gonna wash them and then I'm gonna drain them and then we're gonna get these into the freezer. Okay, so for the jalapenos, I just took them out. I'm letting them cool down, and then we're just going to add them to this bag. Now this is jalapenos that I grew last year, back in 2023. Um, so all I do is I just keep adding jalapenos to it, but then whenever I need them, I just take out one or two, um, throw them in a soup, a puree, or salsa, or anything like that. Sometimes I just make chop them up and make tacos with them. The nice part is that since they're frozen, they chop up really easily. So if you wanted to add them to like a soup or like a stew or a dish, um, you can just chop them up while they're frozen, throw them in frozen and you got a little spice and jalapeno flavor to your food. Hey guys, editing Tiffany here. So I don't blanch my greens when I go to, um, preserve them like in the freezer. I know a lot of people do. You'll come across a lot of other YouTubers, some older than me, probably even wiser than me. So if you guys do that, then that's what you guys do. But I don't do it. It's something that we've never done, um, mainly because we don't spray anything in our garden. So we don't even use organic sprays, such as like any like neem oil or like anything labeled organic. We literally spray nothing in our garden and we just let the garden be. So we're not really cleaning anything off of it, like trying to really, really get stuff off of it. And usually blanching takes off any type of pesticides. Now, does it reserve vitamins more than it does if you are just freezing it? I don't think so because our things taste the same and I can't tell a difference whether it's blanched or not. But yeah, I just wanted to put that little side note in there. 
All right, guys, and there we have it. We have our bag of Swiss chard, and then we also have our bag of jalapenos. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm going to be having all of this, <laughs> what's going on in here, in tomorrow's video. God, guys, I'm looking a mess. I've been in this kitchen like all day long. So I'm going to have that in tomorrow's video. Make sure you guys tune in and check it out. But until next time, guard yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food.